Sorry, I'm the smokers in town. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm on. You'll be closer to me. Hang on, let me just move back a bit. Okay, I'm on you. Pauli Manaji, welcome to London, England. Cool, thank you. Yeah, I mean, this fight, it's, it's a great fight. It's a big fight. It's Amir Khan's test out. Do you think they could have got an easier opponent than you? Um, you know, I think... I, don't, I really don't know what to think as far as the caliber of Mahoney. I think they were looking for a solid fighter. Um, I think, obviously, I'm going to tell you, I think they made the wrong choice. I think, uh, uh, I think I'm think i a bit on a higher level than Amir is ready for at this time. Uh, I think he's a solid fighter, but I think maybe they're underrating me because, you know, I've been a very inconsistent fighter myself in my career. Uh, having said that, uh, I'm at a moment in my career where I felt, I feel like I'm, uh, I'm really moving ahead and... and and uh, looking better and better. You know, over the past 12 to 15 months since the Ricky Hatton loss, I've made some changes on my team, and I think uh, they've shown a change for the better. You know, and, and my performances have shown a change for the better. You know, I've looked sharper, I've looked faster, I've looked uh, bit more reflexive, I've looked more intelligent in the ring. And uh, I think uh, people are not really paying attention to that as much as they're looking at the whole picture. And the whole picture, when you look at Paulie Malinaji, is this is an inconsistent fighter, and we can catch him and beat him. But right, you're so catching you a guy who's on a, who's on a high note right now. Right. So do you think, right, that since changing camp like yeah. you was working with buddy mcgurk and we could see like a big difference like in the diaz fight in the diaz fight he was like the, the guy that i used to read about yeah. on 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 the yeah. on the boxing mags and stuff yeah. and then you was back to like your old flow like yeah. do you like they call you the magic man do you feel like the magic's back now yes absolutely i feel like the magic's back um as soon as I changed trainers, within a couple of months of working with Sharif Yunan, my new trainer, I said, wow, I wasted two years of my life that I can't have back. It's so what do, you, what do you think the, the, the problem was with, like, with working with Buddy uh, and then going with Sharif? What, what, um, what's the in a nutshell, because it's hard to explain to people that don't really box, in a nutshell, he wanted everything low. Everything low, uh, you got to stay low, you got to stay in a shell. Well, if you're, if you're on the ropes, you got to stay low. If you're in, on the inside, in the you gotta, if you're on this right. inside, you got to stay low. If you're in the center of the ring, at least for me, I rely on changing distance. I rely on boxing you from the outside. When you're in low and you're in a stance that's so low, you can't use your legs the same way. Think about it. You get down, I can't bounce around like this. You know, That's what he wanted. You take away my biggest asset, which is my legs. And if you take away my biggest asset, which is my legs, guess what? You make me much easier to track down for opponents. It was much easier for Golov Morendo to track me down in the rematch than it was in the first fight. Why? Because that was an extra year I'd spent with Buddy. Uh, Ricky Hatton, piece of cake to track me down. You know, uh, All of a sudden, somebody like Juan Diaz, Golden Boy's like, oh, let's bring Pauli Malinaji in for Juan Diaz. We need to rebuild him. He lost to Marquez. Well, now you didn't find the same Pauli Malinaji. All of a sudden, Juan Diaz couldn't find Pauli Malinaji. And when he did find him, he was getting punched all over the face. Well, we see a big difference. Like your fight when you fought Cherry. You know what I mean, you're still losing your legs. Yeah. You're throwing in combinations. Yeah. And then it's like, you... well, little by little, if you look at the time with McGirt, he wasn't going to change me overnight. Those, my first two fights with McGirt, yeah, I still look like the old Paulie Malinaji. Right. I still look like, but little by little, you start seeing the change. The more time I spend with the guy, the lower I'm getting. And Herman and Gojo was catching up to me. Love more in the rematch. The same guy I had just dominated a year before. Right. All of a sudden, I was fighting for my life with. And then the Ricky Hatton fight, a total disaster. So, the mistake Golden Boy is making is the same mistake they made with Juan Diaz. They thought they had the same Paulie Malinaji, and all of a sudden. Before they knew it, they blinked and they ruined Juan Diaz's career. Right. Now they got Pauli Malinaji again. You still didn't learn the lesson. You still think it's an old Pauli Malinaji. Yeah, but how, how, fighter. how would you beat Amir Khan? Because the major thing about Amir Khan, he's so fast. Oh, I would yeah. say, I would say, like in in, in, cl in in clusters of punches, he must be most probably the fastest. I wouldn't say he's the fastest single shot fighter. Uh -huh. I'll say Floyd is a mo is yeah, a fastest single yeah, shot fighter. But right, right. So yeah. how are you gonna beat him? Well, you don't get off those kind of punches if the target is not there. Or what happens when you try to get off those kind of punches and you get punched in your mouth on the return because you didn't see the counter punch coming. Now, when you used to throw eight in bunches, now you're hesitant to throw those eight in bunches because guess what? Oh so man, this guy this guy cracks me on the way in. I can't just throw eight when I want to. Yeah, it's easy when you got a 100-year-old Marco Antonio Barrera standing there. You can just throw 100 punches at him. You're going to hit him. But with Paulie Malinaji, oh, he, he jukes, he jives, he's countering you, all that. Oh, man, now I don't want to get off anymore. Well, now what happens? Now you don't want to get off. You get gun shy. Then what happens? Oh, now you got a problem. Paulie, respect you. Thank and you. thanks for coming in, yeah? Thank nice you. one, mate. Right, ready to shoot? Ready to shoot? Yeah. We'll go. Right, Amit, it's really quick. I've interviewed you on many occasions. I want to realize this, yeah? The US debut, why are you going to win this fight? Um, I think, you know, one of the reasons is I'm a hard-working guy, you know. Um, I, I, if I want to become the best fighter in the world and if I want to stay the best fighter in the world and become a legend in this game, I have to keep, I have to win all my fights, uh, train hard and, you know, beat good fighters like Pauli Malinaji and other fighters out there. And if I want to become a big name in America, I have to win this fight. Yeah, and how are you going to beat him? I'm going to knock him out, you know. There's no doubt about that, you know. I'm, gonna, I'm, a, I'm a hard-working fighter and 
the thing is, you know, I'm just going to go in there and stay very focused and I break him down and then I know the knockout will come. Right. So to all your fans out there who are, who are contemplating, thinking about buying tickets and ain't bought their tickets, you know what I mean? Come over and back you. Why should they come out? And I think they should come because you know what? It's 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 history because my only first debut in America as a professional, at least when 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 they get older and they can say we went to Amir's uh, debut fight in America. Yeah. You know, and on top of that, you know, it's it's gonna be an electrical fight. The fight is gonna last a few good rounds, and you know what? It's gonna be electrical because you know how good it was when Ricky Hatton used to go to America, America when he used to take about 10, 15,000 fans with him. I mean, can't do, can do the same thing, right. and I'm gonna do a better one. Right. I've told uh, Paulie Manalaji already. I've told him this. I said, like punches in clusters, you have got the fastest hands of any fighter today. Any fighter. Right. But single shots, I say I'll give it to Floyd. But in clusters, when you put them together, you got the fastest. How are you gonna nullify his speed? Because he's most probably he's most probably the most experienced fighter that you fought. How are you gonna deal with him? You know what's gonna break him down is the fence. You know. Um, and the body shots because he's never been tested in the body. That's yeah. one thing. And I remember watching one of his fights and he gets hurt in the body. So I think I can hurt him in the body, a lot of feints. And, you know, with the power I'm developing with Freddie and Alex now, I think, you know, hitting him clean, hitting him with shots that you don't see, the other shots will knock people out. You know, maybe the shot against Salita might not have been hard, but the thing was, it's a shot that he didn't see. Right. You know, and I think that's the other shots will knock you out. Right. Hey, well, Ahmed Khan, I know so you got Thank a bag of time to you. But let me just say this, yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, total honour to see you grow up. Yeah, I mean, it'd be like, what, five years now? And I've seen you grow up into a man. I'm very proud to know so I know you, yeah? Love you, man. Thank you.